Y'all don't know how many times I get tired of saying, hey, YouTube. But I don't have no other little special thing for y'all. So anyway, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Kadisha here. And in today's video, as you have read by the title, I will be... Oh my God, hold on, y'all. Because this braid will not stay down. It's supposed to be flat and it won't stay. You know what, I don't even care. Anyway, like I was saying, as you read by the title in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I groom my eyebrows. Um, and currently, they look a hot mess. All my little fill in done faded away and smeared. And your girl really don't have much eyebrows, so that's why I fills them in. But if you're interested in seeing how I groom my eyebrows, what products that I use, and how I make them look nice and neat and clean, make sure you stay tuned to watch this video. But before we do that, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Turn on your post notifications and let's get straight into the video. So first things first, I'm gonna let y'all know what you use or what I use. So I usually use Neutrogena um, face face wash. What they're called? Neutrogena makeup cleansing wipes. But um, I had bought these little off-brand studio selection sensitive skin makeup removing facial towels and i'm almost out as you can see but i'm going to be using these i'm going to be needing my eyebrow pomade my spoolie slash angled eyebrow brush i'm going to be needing obviously a mirror i have actually this mirror and i have my other mirror with the light on it so i have two mirrors um I'm going to need some Q-tips for once I clean up my concealer after I fill them back in. Oh yeah, duh, I can't forget this. And your most important tool is your tweezers. So these are the products that I will be using to clean my eyebrows up. My eyebrows are very sparse and thin, so it's really not much to do to my brows. But a lot of times, they um once my hair grows, it kind of... You'll see, it kind of just grow weird. And the way I like to put my arch, when I fill them in, some of my hair be sticking out. So that's kind of like not cute. So first I'm going to be taking this. Actually, it was my last one, y'all. Yep, so I'm going to have to get some more. I'm going to be taking this wet face wipe and I'm going to be wiping off all the product. And because I can't zoom up on my camera, I'm gonna have to get real close and personal up here. Y'all see how thin my eyebrows look? I'll be looking weird when I don't feel my eyebrows in. But anyway, um, once I did that, I'm gonna dry them a little bit using this cotton ball. But once I did that, next thing I'm gonna do is take my spoolie brush and I'm going to brush my eyebrows in its natural direction. And if y'all can tell, my brow already has its own arch. But if you look real closely, like right here, that's extra hair that has grown in. And because when I fill in my eyebrows, I take my arch up this way and back down. I don't need all this hair because once I put my concealer on, those hairs be sticking out. And sis, that's not cute. I'm going to just start plucking all the hairs down here at the bottom of my brow.
and I don't want to take my tail off too much but there has been times where I basically took the little hairs that have grown in I just tweezed them off and just made my own tail and let it grow back but my um eyebrows grow really slow anyway I know some people use wild growth oil to um grow their brows out I tried it couple times but I'm not consistent with it so I think I'm gonna have to try it again Sometimes I also even make the line for when I'm about to fill in my brows so that I know um, how much extra hair I need to take off or if I'm good with taking off hair. Excuse me, because I don't want to, to sit up here and just take all my hair off. So. Compared to the other brow, you can tell that I have cleaned it up some versus on this side, I still have like hairs down here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start um, filling in this brow like I normally would. And then I'm going to move on to the other brow. And to really get my um, arch as clean as I possibly can, sometimes instead of using the angle brush to actually make my arch, I will go in with my eyebrow pencil. Now, as you can see, I've used this mug like a lot. It's literally down to its last leg. But um, yeah, I'm gonna take this and I'm going to just do my natural eyebrow routine. So I'm gonna speed this part up, just making sure that I got every hair that I wanted to get.
y'all y'all see how bruh look at how clean and perfect that mess look I ain't got no extra hairs sticking out now sis invest in your tweezer don't keep going to them um people to thread and wax your eyebrows you can go get you a tweezer for just one dollar get you some little elf pomade an angle brush some concealer and call it a day y'all I mean, I knew I was good, but look at that. I'm trying to make brush like strokes, make it look real natural. I'm gonna give y'all one last close up. So that's the first brown now onto the second brow. Just look at the difference. Don't get me wrong. I, I do admire my natural beauty, but I do also enjoy using cosmetics to enhance my beauty. So This next brow is the same step. I'm going to brush my brows up using the spoolie. And since your brows are not the same, the exact same, it's usually kind of more difficult to do one brow over the other. So the way I did this brow, I may not really get, you know, real deep into plucking every hair like I did over here, over here. But I will... Sis, I got us. I will give y'all the best that I possibly can. So again, like it look like I'm missing some hair right there. Like I supposed to have some hair right there. Hmm. So I'm just gonna take my tweezer. This brow, I'm gonna have to um literally. Get me a starting point because this brow is doing some extra.
Okay. So now I'm just cleaning it up. So this is what this is what this brow looks like after it has been plucked and cleaned. As you can see, there's really not much tail that I can work with over here on this brow. So um, that's where the filling in definitely come in at for making my tail. So here is the other brow. So as you can see, those hairs that were at the bottom here are now gone. Everything looks clean, everything looks fresh. And ladies, remember your brows are not twins they are sisters so they're not going to look the exact same some days you may have your brows looking um more similar than other days but don't really stress too much about it because you're not going to always get both brows to look the exact same because like looking at this video right now looking at myself in this camera i can tell that this brow looks a little bit more defined than this brow and it looks like it's a little bit higher and then of course the hairs on each brow bone grow in differently too so you have to take that in con into consideration but for the most part i think i did pretty good cleaning up the hairs and um filling them in I went ahead and I kind of cleaned up my liner and put on some other mascara. And there you have it. The finishing look of me cleaning up my brows. So if you all enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. Um, I hope that this video was helpful to some of you. If you've already been plucking your own eyebrows or grooming your own eyebrows, or you want to try it, you can use some of my tips. Um, this is what I do personally. It's not what you have to do, but um, I just thought that I would share some of my tips and tricks on how I clean up my brows. So again, if you like this video, 
Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel and share this video. And I will see you all in my next one. Bye. I'm feeling my snatch bracket, got a black